Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingrid and I'm from MyGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Allen Bradley 4M drive. The one behind me, that is a single to three phase drive, so we're going to be using a single phase supply for it. So as usual, there's going to be two, uh, three videos. Uh, first one is a commissioning and local run, second one with uh, a 2 3 wire control and also um, a remote potentiometer. And the third video, we're going to be looking at how to set up drive in multi-frequency and also be checking out the carrier frequency, how it works and what it is its function within the drive. So all the direct manuals and uh, videos and anything else to think would benefit you in any possible way, you will be able to find that out in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, all wired in. So the first thing we as always do, we're gonna go through the actual terminals. So you can see down here, we've got like a lids on there. So we just, I like these lids. So you remove the lid and you can wire a, your wires in. And then the first two wires you're gonna wire it in, that is your line and the neutral right up here. And then you have a uh, earth terminal down there. Once you finish, just put the lid back on and it closes off nicely. And here on the bottom, you have additional earth points on there for the motor. And obviously you have, uh, this is where UVW will come out to, that will be carrying on to your motor. And then you have your DC uh, plus and minus, which is for your DC brake. So, and uh, then we're gonna move on to a actual terminals itself. You've got uh, a sink and source button in here. That's for your, uh, how you wanna operate your uh, terminals. And uh, then you have uh, this uh, section in here, which is for a, a relays, which is normally closed and normally open uh, relays that can be uh, used to activate different things, depending on what sort of a set, uh, setting you have set them on away from the uh, drive and uh, top section in here so that is for the digital inputs and bottom section in here that's for the analog inputs and that is pretty much that's all there is and plus you've got the PU connector down here which is RJ45 that is used to a, uh, a, pro a, a program the uh, dri drive from Allen Bradley a, a drive uh, uh, software so that's pretty much that's how the controls work so when it comes down to actual buttons uh, the front control p uh, control pads uh, control keypads you call them uh, you got a potentiometer which is uh if you are controlling a drive from uh, local control that will be your potentiometer in here uh, which you can be changing the frequency then you have uh, uh, this button in here which will allow you to go uh, uh, forward and reverse Start button, uh, start stop, which is going to be a, a self-explanatory, starts and stop. And in here, so what will you have in here? To enter the menu, you just click a select. Once you're in select mode, you can see the P flashes, so pretty much this is where you go in between the groups. So I've already got, got like monitoring group, this uh, basic parameter group, and so on. So each group we're going to go through later on in the videos. So there's four groups in there, which each group will uh, represent a, a different uh, section of parameters so if you say once you selected the group you want to go in you click the select one more time and then you go on to the numbers if you click the number again that's all going to jump in between numbers you can get to the parameter which one you want quicker but usually you will just go up and down like that once you're happy with the parameter you are uh, you are happy so click enter and in there you can uh, uh, start up and down and then when you press enter then you press escape you leave the parameter and you would use escape escape self-explanatory to a return back to the home screen so next up let's do the factory reset and for the factory reset we need to go to parameter uh, p 112 so uh select so uh select again and i'm going to use select again so we're going to go one digit up and we're going to enter that one so once you are on the parameter 100 p 112 uh, Put one up, press enter, and the drive will uh, display F048, and then you just need to escape and stop it. Once you've done that, uh, our drive has reset all of its uh, parameters back to a default factory defaults, and uh, the actual number in a P112 will return back to zero. So that will indicate that the actual A uh, uh, parameters has been reset so that's how the the uh, um, factory is done 
And so next up, let's edit all the uh, necessary uh, motor uh, data. And that is actually done in a P parameter group, which is basically the basic parameter group. So this is where you enter all your, uh, a, uh, oh, all your uh, parameters for the motor. And the first one, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the first one up is we need to check what sort of voltage it is. And depending on the country where you are, here in UK we are 230 volts, so I am well there. So I escape that one. So the next one up, oh no, I keep selecting that one. Next one up, it is frequency. So that's that's here in UK we have 50 hertz. So I do need to make sure that is uh, down to 50. So whatever your motor data plate is, and you, you can see that on your data plate, and mine says 50 hertz. So make sure that is the case. So uh, the next one up, it is your motor current uh, uh, current itself. So check that on your data plate, which in my case it says. 1.03 uh, amps for 230 volts. So, oh, keep saying that one. So, so I'm gonna go for one amp. There we go. Enter that one. So, uh, and the next one is we need to select what is going to be our minimum frequency. And this is pretty much where you where you can select uh, what frequency the drive should start with. We're gonna. It should be zero. Oh. You're doing that should be zero. So yeah, it's depending what you want to do. If you want to drive the start from zero, from some sort of different frequency, and doesn't want to go any below that, so you change that. We are not going to do that. So let's go. And the next one up is a 105. We're going to be setting up, checking out the maximum frequency. And again, that should be no higher than the motor frequency. And in here again, that is set to 60. Then you're going to lower down to 50. Enter that one. Escape. And the following one is going to be the star source. Obviously, we're going to be this is that we're going to be controlling the drive from the local control. So we're going to change that one to I don't even know what is the default. The default is at zero and is from keypad. So uh, we are going to be selecting that. We're going to be using other sources in different videos, but for now that uh, source it is a uh, fine. And uh, the next one is a stop, which is going to be leave. Uh, it's basically where you are selecting. Uh, what sort of stop you want it to be and uh, so basically it is uh, zero, uh, the default is at zero and that's ramp to stop and also the, uh, the stop command will create uh, is set to reset any faults as well used for that but again you can change that in a parameter 107 if you wish and do read it up in the manual if you want to know a bit more about it so uh, so the next one up it is gonna be our uh, speed reference where we're we going to be reading speed reference from so there's a couple of options we have so the one it should be the default should be zero yes it is it is zero yeah it is zero oh. and that will be pretty much reading of frequency from this guy in here as you can see they're both are lit up it sort of tells you in here and by the lights which ones is going to be using so by default is at zero and they were using they're they called a drive potentiometer so, but you can use these if you wish to I don't know why would you but you can use these select them to a uh, one so you can be able to use them these buttons for it so we ain't gonna do that because that would be just a waste of time and the next two is sort of a choice again depending on your application uh, uh, it's acceleration I'm gonna lower my uh, accelerate it's how fast the motor will accelerate to the full speed so I'm gonna change that to one second as usually if I'll do for all my demonstration videos uh, here we go. Enter that one. Escape and the time one. Yeah. Oh, keep doing that. And change that one as well to one second. And having done that, ladies and gentlemen, that will pretty much will be it. All you need to do to get this baby boy going. So oh, stop too early. So let's change it to one second. So enter that one. So now the drive is ready to go. So only things left now is to try it out. And before we get this thing going, as you can see down here, I have removed this wire, which is between uh, terminal 1 and terminal 11. It's, uh, it's basically designated for some sort of a, uh, I would class as like a e-stop or stop thing for the drive, which uh, is, if it's not there, it will not let you operate anything. So you can see I can't start, stop, or well, I can change that one, but I won't be able to start and stop. So make sure that is that little connector block is in there so I thought I'd quickly demonstrate that one so make sure that is in place so there we go and that's it so the uh, only things left is so we can uh, start you can see the motor is running in and boy and you can change frequency with 
with a potentiometer and then you just stop it and that will be it ladies and gentlemen for this drive it does have internal fan which is uh, uh not that noisy really good quality so usually some of the some of the drives are done the fans are quite loud so this one's really good so that will be it ladies and gentlemen for the local setup a commissioning and factory reset so uh, so hopefully it helps you out to get you going and if you like the video please smash that like if you didn't smash dislike uh, comment below what you like what you don't like and obviously a uh, yeah, would be nice to hear your feedback and uh, has it helped you out and if you got any uh, questions or uh, well yeah if you got any questions do a uh, comment them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as and as accurate as I can so other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video